Good morning, everybody. It's 8.30 in the morning. I am in the middle of making my ketogenic breakfast, which is just eggs and bacon. You know, I have a ketogenic YouTube channel I somewhat started, but never really done anything with. So I was thinking, oh, I live in an RV. Me and my wife both do ketogenic. She has her own YouTube channel. I can't think of what it is right now, but I figured, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother with it. I already have a <clears throat> RV channel now, so I'll just combine them. So, so I've got my eggs cooking, and I'm gonna put the bacon in the microwave. I have this every morning, four slices of bacon and three eggs over easy. It's time for a cleanup. Be right back. Okay, while well, I'm waiting on breakfast to cook and everything, I'm going to do some YouTube editing on my gaming junkie channel and, well, therapy simple. Okay. You know that video of, you know, where you watch people grab an egg fan, they twirl it around, they flip it up, and they catch it again? Oh, I think that I'm not that good. Look, nothing on the ground. Eggs back in the pan. and very hot well breakfast is done now it's time to eat and do some editing so catch y'all in a little bit eggs needed some salt well people today I actually find out what I'm doing at my new job site um, I will be working as an oil oiler there that's all I know so far uh, mostly what an oiler does is I make sure all the equipment's greased, I help out the crane operators, um, and I operate whatever equipment they need me to operate. I'll give you more detail this afternoon, pretty much probably when I'm done because I'll know exactly what time I'm actually supposed to start in the mornings. They want me there at 11 o'clock today just due to the fact because the cranes and Grand Rapids and most cranes are you know oversized over length so they cannot drive at night so it supposedly left Grand Rapids this morning as soon as it became daylight so that's why they want me there so late today and I'll give you an update later hey right, some of y'all probably wondering what exactly is the ketogenic diet it, the ketogenic diet is actually a high fat low carb moderate protein diet I have been on this diet since, well, January this year, but uh, when I started, I weighed 270. I'm not going to tell you what my wife weighed because she'll kill me, and I'm sorry. I love breathing, so never, I'm not going to bother. Um, so what you do, you pretty much just cut out everything. Um, when we first started, I, you know, gave gave up soda, gave up candy, sugar, and oh man, I'm telling you, you go through some withdrawals, but once you get past the withdrawal stage, you're fine. I mean, you don't have any cravings. I started drinking sparkling water and just, you know, lots and lots of water. So, and after a while, we actually got off of it. I ended up, uh, when I got off, I weighed 240. No. 240 or 230, I'm not sure. But anyway, a couple days ago, well, yeah, a couple days ago we officially started it again. <clears throat> it's been three days. I haven't had a, I haven't had a soda, so I'm over to withdrawals, not even craving any. Um, somewhat still eating a little bit of candy, but not that much. Um, but I'm going to give that up too. But, uh, any questions or anything, you know, just post it down below and I'll do my best to answer it. My wife is very excellent at this diet. She knows everything about it, so it might be her answering it, but 
Anyway, uh, that's about all I can tell you about it. Because that's all I pretty much know about it. Okay. Everybody, I'm actually going to do a weigh-in. So, here I go. Activate the scale. Let me flip the camera around. As you can tell, zero. Alright, my weigh-in today is 232.3. Everybody, that was my way in for this morning. So, and that's with all my work clothes on. So, uh, I don't know what else to say <laughs> other than um, y'all give me some some support on this because it's hard getting back on this diet again after you get off of it. But once you get on it and actually get rid of all your cravings and everything, you'll be surprised on how fast the weight drops. All right. Oh, I gotta get ready to get over to work later. Hi right, everybody, I'm on my way to my job. Uh, it's my first day there, like I said earlier. Um, would have been doing a little filming before now, but my wife decided to call her as soon as I got in the phone and just wanted to chit chat for a little bit. So now that she's on the phone, I'm fixing to get on 69 here in Michigan and um, head towards 23 and head south on 23 for about 20 miles or something like that. Got to be there at 11. GPS shows I'll be there at 10:30, so I'm good. All right, now I'm gonna film a little bit of road for you. At least I hope it is. Um, GPS led me straight to this one, so I'm hoping this is it. So I'll find out here in a second. Well, everybody, the uh, crane's not here yet, but I met the construction boss. He walked me around, showed me everything that we're going to be doing. And yes, he uh, verified the job lasts for about a month. So um, DTE Energy, or sorry, Consumers Energy is actually redoing some pipelines. So. It's going to be a month. Whew. Freaking something just ran underneath my car. I don't know what it was. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> uh, oh, there one again. Oh, it's a squirrel. It scared me. So anyway, I'm just sitting here now waiting on the crane. Hasn't showed up yet. And I tried to call the company I'm working for, but I guess nobody's answering, so... Just gonna sit here and wait. All right, everybody. Gonna be working here at this job site. We're uh, waiting on the crane. First thing we do when the crane gets here, we're gonna set up right there underneath that. Oops, sorry. That light pole there. And then we're, there's a building on the other side of that trailer. We're gonna move from there to a spot over there. The job foreman already walked me around the place and had me walk this just to make sure that he if he thought this was going to be good enough for the crane i told him that we might need to have to move these vehicles depending on how big the crane is but all in all that's it right there this is where i'm going to be working at consumers is moving, putting in some new pipeline and redoing some stuff so all i'm doing now is is just waiting on the crane to show up all right 